Hey everybody, um, I'm trying to figure out the um, trading trading mechanics in uh, Mountain Blade Bannerlord, and uh, I have been inspired by the uh, corporate reports and uh, before that the, the trading uh, playthrough of uh, Halsey Lion which is um, who is a very skilled and talented uh, um, mountain blade banner lord uh, uh, player which who has done a, an absolutely fantastic uh, playthrough on his channel you should really check it out and basically what um, what he did was get to um, the trade level 225 in order to unlock what is now uh, been put at level 300 which is the um, everything has a price uh, perk which basically lets you trade settlements when bartering with um, with other lords um, let me just check my uh, sorry my my microphone is good okay uh, so basically the my, my personal goal in this playthrough is sort of uh, simulate what he has done with my character and um, yeah, although he did it by uh, abusing the smithing mechanic of uh, javelins and um, and also he did it when the, the everything has a price perk was at 225 and I found find now myself um, uh, binded to 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 reach level 300 uh, and it's absolutely one of the most tedious things i have ever done in my life because uh for the first uh, let's say 200 skill points obviously getting all your levels on social and um, obviously maxing out the focus points on trade until you get to level 200 and such it's kind of an easy thing to do uh, you manage to get um, uh, XP points uh, even if not trading directly on horses which is what we will do right now um, but after level 200 220 something around those numbers it becomes extremely difficult and uh, the amount of um, money uh, that you are required to gain from transactions is so um, increased uh, the, the, the amount of money that lets you uh, actually get a, um, a skill point uh, so in this in this case I'm at level 252 and um, I uh, to, to in order to, to gain one trade point I am required to uh, reach 34,000 XP points and that would be to get to level 253 um, I can't imagine the amount of, of uh, selling that I have to do in order to get to level 300 and uh, I've been playing this campaign for quite some time now I could not manage to say it in hours but uh, I work a full-time job and I've been playing this in all my free time let's say I am completely addicted to this game lately uh, and it's been around maybe a week a week or so uh, so it depends on the amount of time that you personally have but um, it it's 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 really it's really a challenge and what I'm afraid of is that doing the same thing over and over again may become something so tedious that I just give up even though I, I would not uh, give up uh, by the way, I managed to fail the Nezareth's uh, Folly quest, so I'm super scared that once that I actually reach level 300, I will not be able to found a kingdom. Uh, as of right now, from the clan screen, maybe because I don't have settlements, I don't know, but uh, I cannot create a kingdom. Um, so basically uh, I am traveling with 182 people uh, this allows me to uh, get in my inventory uh, the uh, considerable amount uh, considerable amount of uh, mounts uh, that obviously uh, increase my my capacity um, the thing that 
that um, uh, yeah so basically that um, and this is calculated in a way such that I do not uh, suffer the herd uh, party speed penalty so what we are doing here is I'm trying to reach Vostrum uh, in order to see if I can uh, sell what I have currently on me, it's really nothing. These uh, these are just uh, pieces and bits that I got um, here and there. And the goal is to uh, basically do the entire Azerai um, uh, desert territory run, buying horses and uh, other bits and pieces on the way, but mainly horses, from uh, Husenfurk uh, to Kuyats, passing by Yakis and Askar, especially Askar, and um, once completed the, the run, we will sell all the horses in uh, starting from Sargot to uh, Jakulan to Galand, up to Prevend, and if something is still in my inventory, also Oxhall. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's do it. Let's go to Vostrum. It's really, really a strange uh, way of playing because trade um, during my my last um, campaign was more of something that I did here and there. It was not my main focus. Um, Doing only this is incredibly tedious, incredibly tedious. Uh, I managed to fight um, uh, looters here and there, just for the fun of it, as long as I find a, a, a big enough party of looters, let's say. I don't bother from starting from 30 below, but as soon as it's like... Uh, 35 starting from 35 40 looters i will engage but it's obviously just for the fun of it i i don't do it to sell their loot i don't do it to catch prisoners i don't need prisoners to make money i currently make 1286 with five workshops and two caravans plus the spring of gold which by the way the spring of gold perk which is incredibly powerful actually just unlocked it gain a 0.1 percent interest per day on gold you have it's capped at a maximum of 1000 dinars per day uh, when i will own town uh, if that is ever going to happen the gold boost for town projects is going to be 20 percent more effective but absolutely amazing perk let's buy some horses if they have any that is you know what it's not the best price but i'm buying them anyway that's a lot of money for for uh, usually i cap it around eight thousand nine thousand dinars um, i don't care let's see what other what other goods they have let's buy some clay some salt some wool some pottery uh, nope no linen and let's buy these two pieces of uh, velvet let's go to la mesa i know this route um, by hand now i know exactly where the villages that produce azerai horses are these are more reasonable prices uh, we are going to buy some fish yeah, this is basically what I have what I have been doing. Uh, there could also be um, that was not me. There, there is an I, I tried an alternative way of. Uh, by the way, the buying and selling horses is, in my experience, of course, the most uh, profitable way of uh, of doing money, um, doing money, and also. Uh, getting trade points, uh, trade skill points, because I'm not saying that uh, there is no other way. You obviously gain trade skill points by trading any good, but I find that the um, amount of money that uh, that you make. Oh, let's see this fish. Uh, yeah, I'm buying it. And dates. They don't have horses. No, they do not. 
I'm buying oil, I'm buying salt. Okay. The amount of money that you make um, buying and selling uh, horses is uh, compared to the other um, uh, other trade goods, to, in my experience, the most uh, profitable. Um, the other way around, I tried to do basically the same thing that I'm doing here, but inverted, so to speak. So I would go to the steppe in the Kyrgyz territory, uh, starting from the bottom. I would go through Odoka, Kalat, uh, just basically going north, buying all the horses that I find, and then reversing the all the horses instead of in Vlandia, in the north, uh, in Sturja. Uh, absolutely not at, not as profitable. The steppe war horses, which are the steppe um, uh, equivalent of um, uh, of the Azerai horse, are not that um, uh, uh, requested. Uh, that is not only in Sturgia, but in my experience, I find them not requested basically um, anywhere. Um, and it's just overall not uh, profitable. Okay, I didn't actually check out the other goods they have. Let's buy some olives. I'm at 12,000, 13,000 inventory. Let's buy some dates. Let's buy beer. Beer, in my experience, goes excellently well in uh, Ox Hall. Don't know why. Maybe because of lack of grain. I don't know. Let's buy velvet also. Yeah, maybe if um, if you're not aware, I mean, it might seem. Oh my God, that those are 91 looters. We got to get them. We got to get them. Absolutely. Let's wait. Let's wait that the sun rises. I'm getting you now. Let's do this. Charge, my boys. Oh, what I didn't say also is that the almost entirety of my... Um, of my... These mountains are not good for my horsemen. Oh, the entire, all, the almost entirety of my army is consists of um, horsemen. So they move quicker. That was a lot of damage I did with my horse. Hey, what's up? Oh my god, I suck. Die! These are basically peasants. It's a rain, a rain of rocks by these guys. What? They managed to kill one of mine. I got a, I got a, uh, a level. That's cool. And another one! They're killing them! I lost two men! Two looters! Can't believe it. Die already! Why are you still fighting? Why? 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 There you go. You're dead. Where are you going, boy? Okay. I lost four people. Can't believe it. I'm taking these guys just because they're mounted. I'm not upgrading these guys because they require war horses, which we are selling in Blandia. I will upgrade you guys. And there you go. I'm not getting any of this junk. I don't care. Because I'm rich. Okay. Okay, your attacks with bows ignore 10% of enemies' armor. Decrease, decrease your reload. Yes. And I also get one of these. I'm thinking... 
you know what? I'm going steward. Okay. Uh, we're going to Yakis. Yeah, you know, it's just for the fun of it. Now, I must replace the troops that I just lost with uh, with other men because the herd penalty would, uh, would, uh, would increase greatly. I'm buying horses. I'm buying... Am I buying grain? Yeah, I'm buying. I'm buying also this and jewelry. I'm not selling anything. We'll sell everything in Blandia. Let's buy some horses. Now you will hear me. Uh, no, actually not. Desert horses, Azerai horses. Let's go here. Yeah, we're basically half. When we get to bite Hatif, we're gonna be half, halfway. I'm not bothering even with hideouts. In this campaign, I think I cleared out only the the, the camp, the hideout, uh, to rescue my brother. I'm not bothering with war, as you can see, my one-handed is at 18, and my riding is at 81. That's that's quite low i am i have not invested any skill points in these because i i just wanted to focus on trade and and social let's say i maxed out also my uh my charm that would come in handy with uh in in bartering and such now here in Ascar we are going to we're going to recruit oh my god i can't believe it they're always full we're going to buy the most Oh wow, actually I was expecting way more horses than this. It's because I, I, I just recently uh, did this um, this run. Wait, I missed Wadar. Um, usually they have something like 50 desert horses and 25 Azarai horses in, 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 on, uh, in, 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 in the market. How's my inventory doing? 17,000, that's quite... I may still buy some stuff. Did I just buy mules? I don't want mules. Okay. We are going to... Sanala. No, it's way too road. Too much, too much road. We're going to Kuyats. Let's go, boy! Move! Yeah, base, cavalry, footmen and horses. Oh, I also unlocked the nomadic traditions. Uh, and you can see my herd is, um, is getting bigger, but I have 180 people. Um, so, yeah, they can kind of manage it, but it's almost a minus one in moving. Desert horses, Azerai horses, I'm buying your goods. I'm buying fish. I'm buying dates, butter, meat, cheese. Wow, so much stuff. Oil, clay, this. Yeah. Okay. Let's get to Sargot. So this is what what I what I have been doing in the past I don't know let's say uh, two three days of playing this game <laughs> it becomes so tedious and by the way it's it's the most effective way that that I found uh, to to give some results uh, if if there are other ways I'm all about them uh, let me. Uh, say again that the trade guides by Halsey Lion are very useful, are what actually inspired this playthrough um, by my part, so uh, he details all the ways in which you can get money, but still, uh, even though he managed to explain everything about trade in this game, I still find um, I still find trading horses the most effective way. Okay, 
So let's start with the goods. I can sell fish for 15, which is quite good. I can sell dates for 31, which is especially good. Yeah, I can sell wine. I can sell beer. I can sell velvet. So that would be 10,000 dinars just for the goods. Now we're selling horses. Okay, 15,000. Yeah, let's check our trade skill. Okay, 18,000. Keep in mind, we're, we're, the, the, the goal is to not to get to 300, is to get one skill point. Let's get to here. Let's trade. You know what? Before I forget, let's recruit. Yeah, I want you, you, and you. These are billmen. I'll get a billman. Okay, let's trade. Horses here are good. Let's go with the goods. 16 for fish is good. Salt. Salt is a tricky one in my experience. Well, not here. Wool. Yeah, you can have it. Yep. Jewelry. And horses. Okay. So. We're going like this and the other I I guess 1500 1400 is the oh it's 16 okay okay 41,000 yeah still didn't manage to get a skill point almost there I sold goods for 41,000 dinars and I'm still stuck at the same level this is what you get at level 252 of trade. We're going to Galland. What? Oh yeah, I forgot I... I recruited these guys. Uh, I'm getting rid of uh, maybe... Maybe, just maybe, you, and you, and you guys may get in. Let's get that roguery up. Okay, let's trade. Yeah. Okay, let's go with the goods. Yeah. Okay. Flax, good. Let's go with the horses. Uh, okay. 10,000. There we go. 253. Yeah. It was about time, I guess. Jeez. Look at this. 34,000 XP points for one skill point. Compared to that... In order to progress one skill point in one handed, I would need 300 XP. <laughs> this is just just as a comparison. Can't believe it, man. I can't believe it. And by the way, w one might say, well, if you get into smithing, you may smith weapons and then sell them. Yes, you may do that, but selling uh, smith Smith the um, weapons does not increase your uh, your trade skill. That is to my knowledge. I never actually tried enough to understand it, but I think uh, Halsey Lion talked about this in his uh, in his playthrough. That is 18 for fish. Wow, let's do it. Let's sell some olives. Let's sell some dates. Let's sell some clay. Let's sell some pottery. Yeah. 
And let's sell some horses. Wow. This is a good city to sell horses. Okay. Yeah. 40k. Done. And this is what you get. Now you can start to see... You can start to foresee what you are required to do in order to um, to progress in trade once you get to this level. I mean, it's just astonishing, astonishingly long. You, you can start to see it. You 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 already got it. Uh, it's just it's just so long. And I mean, there are other ways I could manage to stop in every single village and buy low and then sell high but I mean <laughs> I also want to have fun playing a game <laughs> if you know what I mean um, I mean I already stay enough hours working for real during my life <laughs> uh, so yeah let's sell some fish yeah, let's sell all our fish, let's sell all our butter, let's sell all our cheese, let's sell this single item of oil, that's 33k, and that's another third, I guess, maybe, just maybe, by the time we get to Ostikan, after Rovalt, we may, maybe get to, uh, 254 it's just tedious it, it's it's so addictive and this game is so marvelous that I'm sure that I will continue to do this until I get to level 300 because otherwise I wouldn't be doing this but it is just so long it reminds me of what you are required to do in order to complete all the challenges in uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 you are tasked, uh, I think it's the survivalist at the end, uh, the, the, the last um, uh, things that you have to do in the survivalist challenge, you are required to cook all uh, the recipes or was it to fish all available fish in the game? I mean, it, it, it's just, it's just, um, it's just not fun, you know? Yeah, okay, that's 21k. We can sell some meat. Oh, I actually finally found a place in which meat is valued at a reasonable price. Maybe another experience is maybe you managed to, to find other places. I struggled quite a lot for, uh, for selling meat. That is 22k, and we're still not there. Almost, I guess. Just for the sake of it, let's get to, I don't know, Carbanseth? No, I think, let's see if Pravind reset their, their numbers. Come on, boy. Herd is at zero. I'm moving at 4.7 because of snow. It is autumn after all. I'm, al I'm almost at a million. That's something. <sighs> you know what? Have these horses, I don't care. Still didn't manage to get the point. How much? How much? Ah, <sighs> almost there. Let me sell something just for the sake of the video. Yeah, have it. Oh my god, I'm still not there! Oh, I can't believe it. You know what? I'm not selling anything any anymore. Let's see if I buy something. If I buy almost a thousand grapes. Nope. Let's see if I sell these grapes. Where can I sell them? I can sell them at Oxhall. Come on, guys. We can do this. 
We can get there. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I guess you can stop trading with caravans. You can stop villagers. You can do all sorts of things, but... Yeah. Come on, man. There we go. 254. 254. Yep. Only other 46. Okay, so imagining that I get something around 1, 2 trade points per Azerai run, let's say. If there are 46 points to get and I get an average of let's say two points per run that would be another 23 Azerai runs but given the incremental proportion of the skill uh, of the XP required I don't know something in between 23 and I don't know 30 maybe 40 runs I'm not even uh, going to do the math, but I can expect a, at least another 25, 26 runs. And it gets boring, man. But it's not impossible, you can do it, but I'm afraid I'm going to get bored. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm just gonna continue. So, yeah, if you were wondering what trade looks like in, uh, in uh, Mountain Blade Bannerlord, this is not trade. Go check out Halsey Lion's guide, and it's an amazing playthrough. Uh, this was just maybe a focus on the Azerai uh, trade route. I ended up with more money uh, that I had previously, uh, so it's profitable. Do it, do it, but um, also find yourself other ways to doing money. A, a, a viable trade route that I, that I found uh, profitable is once you complete the, let's say, horse run, you want to buy the products of uh, Vlandia and Batania and um, sell them out in the Empire. Let's say in the low part of the Empire. I never found, except for Epicrotea, I never found uh, good reasonable prices both in buying and selling in the northern em northern empire but as long as you stay from rote to vostrum let's say getting uh, also maybe actually i forgot the one of the most profitable towns i found is uh, lageta lageta whatever uh yeah S buy low in vlandia and batania sell high in the empire and get back to Hosvolk and start again with the with the horses. It should be profitable. It, it was for me at least. The northern part is good for furs and meat and cows, um, which sell at good prices down south. Steps, I don't know. I don't know that. I don't know this part enough. But uh, surely step horses. Um, that's for sure. Yeah, guys, that was it. Thank you for watching and uh, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you and bye.